Hey there folks and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival. Before we get to what we're going to be doing this episode, I'm going to talk about the update that they've just released. They have released an update that allows us to make persistent servers instead of the client side servers which we've had for a while now. Unfortunately, I don't have enough money to buy a uh, persistent server yet. So maybe in the future we'll, uh, we'll have something, but not right now. Also, as promised, I fixed the ship. And it's a little bit different than you last saw. Before, there was kind of a glass cockpit, but as somebody mentioned, I ram into things quite a lot. <laughs> so I decided to forego the glass cockpit and just make it a ram. <laughs> because as in, as I'm going to end up ramming things on accident, even if I don't intentionally do it. Um, so instead of a cockpit number two, we have a regular... Well, I guess it is a cockpit number two instead of cockpit, cockpit number three. Um, so let's go inside. I changed up the design a little bit. Uh, we don't have any ammunition in these because, well, um, I'm ra running out of uh, magnesium at the moment. So we're going to have to do some mining this episode. So let's take a look. So it's a lot smaller in here. We, have, we still have our um, turret, and this is what it's like to fly. Pretty much the same just a little tad bit heavier and the armor is um, two thick at the well I think it's yeah it's one thick at the front and one thick on the sides but that should be more than enough to protect us and say everything goes really really badly and we run face first into a very large ship and this terminal gets destroyed also I put in one of those I think that was their last episode I can't remember but I put in another interior turret no ammunition in them at the moment though so let's say that one gets destroyed because of my terrible driving or it takes a missile or several missiles to the front of the ship we have a backup cockpit so we have a cockpit in the engineering section and we have a cockpit up in the piloting station so this is turning out to be quite the useful little ship I also put one more retro thruster in the center there I don't think there was one there last episode so that's that. Ooh, a mining hauler. Unfortunately, I don't have any ammunition to ambush it with. However, I'm fairly certain I could take a mining hauler no problem with this thing now. So, you know, let's see your ripsaw. Okay, we did. I, I was thinking for some reason I never put the uh, beacon on ripsaw, but I did. Okay. So what are we going to be doing this episode? I think for the most part, we are going to be mining for magnesium so we can make more ammunition. Um, because right now, I don't think there's any ammunition in any of these, these things. Maybe there's some in this, because I don't think this one got destroyed. Yeah, so there's, we have a little bit of, uh, Gatling cannon ammunition. Any missiles in here? No. Okay, so, our ammunition's fairly well depleted. And what about the ghost? It's probably been shooting at asteroids, or meteors. Yeah, no ammunition in there either, so we're going to have to find wherever we parked the big old mining rig. I think it was back by the ripsaw, so we'll fly over there in the ghost. And uh, we'll do some mining. We need to get some magnesium and uranium. I think those are the two main things that we need right now. Right, we'll hop in here. Let's fly in first person. What could go wrong? Oh, potentially everything with the way that I fly. Alright. I unfortunately haven't made any progress on the big, uh, the big ship that we've been working on back at home base. The frigate or the capital ship or battle cruiser, whatever you want to call it. I haven't made any progress on that because I've been sinking all my resources into the ship that we have yet to name the ooh, military oh yeah that's the military escort that's way the heck out there um still hasn't run out of ammunition er, ran out of uranium yet so that's interesting where oh, where's home base i think i parked yep there it is you can see the mining ship right there and i've never showed you how the um connectors and stuff work Am I... Inertial dampeners on? Am I... Oh, wow. I really need to put some more retro thrusters on this. God darn it. 
let's see how much damage do we do. Thankfully, none. I think that's, yeah, no damage. Just dinged our engine is all. Alright, let's uh, park this over here. We're gonna go mining in a little bit. I'm gonna go uh, make sure I didn't damage anything. Get some steel plates in my hand and go check out the engine that I just dis almost destroyed. So, we'll take 20 of those just in case we did do some damage. What was it? I think it was this one over here. Oh, I know what happened. Oh no, wait, never mind. I thought I might have shot off a... Uh, yep, yeah, a little bit of damage. Not so bad. Alright, so let's find the mining ship. Okay, like I was saying before, I don't think I ever showed you how these collectors work. And we built some stuff back at the rave cave that allows us to just drop everything through those uh, ejectors, I believe they're now called. Alright. Now, let's do some mining. Make sure we don't have anything in our inventory. Well, we have some stone and silver, but that's not what we need. believe there was some um, magnesium somewhere around here. Right over here, maybe? This is where I thought. Yep, there it is. Magnesium, 38 meters away. Let's see how close are we? Let's quick go grind some of this. We'll go back to the rave cave, drop it off and start refining right away. Probably gonna want uh, 20,000 uh, kilos, I believe it is. Not liters. Yeah. Oh, it is liters? No, it is kilograms. So, I want about 20,000 kilos of this stuff so we can make a whole bunch more ammunition. All right. Probably gonna run out of magnesium in this vein. I think we're actually mining iron and stone as well as this magnesium. Let's see here. Yes. Oh, got a frame drop here. Alright, sorry about that. For some reason I had this massive frame drop. I think there's a known problem where there's a memory leak, so I'm going to uh, quick restart the program and we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so let's uh, continue mining this. And yeah, we're running into the rocks, so let's mine a little bit further down here. Alright. Let's see, how much do we have now? It's all going into the cargo containers. We have about... Eh, not quite enough. We have... What is it, close to 15,000? Yeah, we're going to need more. Going to need a little bit more. Right now we're mining a lot of rock. Uh-oh. Was I hit by something? No, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yeah, and a lot of this gravel we really don't need. But, uh... We'll keep it in our storage containers in case we want to make some uh, reactor components, which we will need eventually, but it's not pertinent at the moment, so we don't need it as of now. Alrighty then. Let's back up. Get some more of this magnesium. I think we're just about mined out this vein. I'm going to see if I can find some uranium after this. There we go. Yep. Oh, that's all the, all the magnesium gone for the most part. It says there's a little bit left. I don't believe him. Let's, uh, 
Oop, there's some down there. See that little blue speck? That's some right there. And uranium all in the same spot. It's like a dream come true or something. A whole bunch of ores that we're mining right here. Silver, magnesium, I think a little bit of cobalt and uranium all at the same time. into this for a little bit. I think we're mostly mining uranium at the moment, which is fine because we need more of that. Let's go see what we got. Got a lot of uranium. There we go. That's enough. 24,000. Got a lot of stone too. We don't need that much stone. All right. Let's finish mining this for a little bit, and then we're going to go back to the rave cave, and uh, we'll show you how the ejectors and my little uh, automated system work. So, there we go. Let's uh, try not to crash, because I'm good at that. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Now we got to go to the rave cave over there. Full speed ahead. Alright. I'm going to be a little bit careful here. Do, 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 do. And getting closer, closer, closer. Alright, let's, uh, change our view so we are on a top-down view there we go go into the hopper right there go down a little bit make sure we're centered we can go forward a bit oh, too far forward there we go all right so we go into our inventory and then we say take this uranium and we have these na uh, labeled connector right connector left so we just drag the medium cargo container 2 is for the right one and the left one is the regular cargo container so let's uh, drop some of that in there and this in here and if we view it's dropping it out and it's getting collected and this does take a while but uh, it's worth it it's a lot quicker than putting everything in our inventory and running back and forth so that is nice all right let's uh, continue dropping all this in here we'll do the magnesium next all right there we go I wish there's a way that you could just continually feed I'm not sure there might be if there is feel free to let me know in the comment section below so I can figure that out but right now you have to continually drop things in which isn't that bad. Alright. There we go. And I'm going to continue doing this until there's nothing left, so see you back in a bit. Alright, and we got most of this stuff out. Don't really care about the stone for now, so let's uh, exit out of that. Exit out of our ship. And then go to the actual station over here. Alright. Fly on down. Turn off our jetpack. And everything actually went into one refinery. We don't necessarily want that. So what we can do is we can drag this and say, take 8,000. And take this, drag, and take, whoop. Well, 10,000 will do. <laughs> um, there you go. We drag this, have that go in that refinery slot. And take this, put this in... I think we have one more refinery, don't we? There we go. And uh, that we can drag and drop those things because everything is connected by these conveyor tubes. So up here, you'll see. But when we dropped everything in, it went all the way into this one, I believe. That's where they automatically default to. So if we just drop stuff and leave it, it'll automatically get refined and we won't have to worry about it. But if we're in a hurry, we can always do what I just did and distribute them evenly. Well, not evenly, but even enough so that 
they refine a bit quicker, so let's grab all this. Well, a lot of it. We don't need that much iron. Let's see what's in here. We'll put a little bit of iron in here. But what we really need is the magnesium, which we have one kilogram of. And we need the uranium, so. We had a little bit of uranium here, so maybe we don't need it. And I'll also drop off these steel plates in here. There we go. Once we get the magnesium, we're going to start making some more missiles. Um, let's quick grab all this. The platinum is useful too because we obviously use that for um, thrust components. And we're going to need that if we're going to be finishing our big old ship anytime soon. Alright, let's drop the magnesium in here. Hmm. Oh, I think it's full at the moment, actually. So what I'm going to do is... We don't need that much silicon in there, so I'm going to take around 5,000 of those. And now we can drop it. There we go. And we'll drop the rest of this stuff in our inventory, or in our cargo container. Alright. Let's do one more pass, and then we'll start making our ammunition. We'll take the uranium, because... Missiles require uranium. Take that. Take that. And... Take that. There we go. Let's see. Alright, so we're going to go to production. Tools is actually where the missiles and Gatlin cannon ammunition are. Let's see here. Well, they actually require quite a bit, so we're going to do 10 of those, That'll be, and then we'll do 20. Okay, can we do more? Let's do 23. Okay, we're going to run out of magnesium, but I don't think we will if we drop this in here. Alrighty then, so we're going to have that stuff be getting made for a while now. Let's... Oh, that's right. Um, last episode I said that the unnamed gunship needs a little bit more uranium. So I'm going to go in here, grab this. I'm going to fly on over to it. Um, probably just use our jetpack. No need to waste extra fuel. Do 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 do. And where's the damage on that ripsaw? I really wonder what did cause it. And we're also missing an engine. Are we missing an engine? Nope. I don't think we are. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Fix that. We'll fix the ripsaw this episode, too. Only requires a couple extra blocks, so... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Over by the Titan is where our... Uh, our gunship is. And also on the Titan, we have to remember that we have our scout craft that uh, is in quite a few pieces that we need to fix. Um, yep, there it is. I'm gonna have to do something with that eventually. Alright. I just uh, thought of something. Does the interior turret take um, regular ammunition for guns, or does it take the box ammunition for the Gatlin cannons? Uh, I never thought about that. So we'll have to figure that out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven divided by 2.7. Eh, eh. We'll do 0.4 in each, I guess. That should be close enough. Point four. And this should uh, extend the life of the ship quite a bit. Uh oh, I just realized it did something incredibly stupid. All right, I need to go back here. Wow. 
Why is it not going in? Or did it go in? Uh, yeah, it probably did. That, that has a lot. That has a little. That has some. Well, we'll have to redistribute it, I guess. Okay, so it seems like everything has around three. We'll try to make everything have around three, so we'll do 1.5 on this. Alright, what about you? We'll give you another 1.75. 1.75. Actually, we can do four in each. I just remembered, not point four. All right, now let's uh, go up here. Put some more in the backup reactor. All right. Four more on that one. another four more in this one. How much do we have in this one? Yeah, we could use some more in this one, too. We'll do 4.5. And the rest we'll throw in... I don't know. That one's good. That one can use some more. There you go. This one still has enough. Well, well let's split it. 1.5 and there we go now let's take a look and see how much energy we have in this thing three days much better and well, it's still only two hours when we're thrusting but it's still better than it was before so no ammunition in there and I just realized I don't think I turned off the um, did, nope, <laughs> well, I want to turn those off. Well, we can have those target missiles, just not moving objects. Okay, yeah, we're good. But, uh, <laughs> if I would have loaded the missile turrets, it would have instantly shot at me, and that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> Alright. That looks good. Now we're going to go... Um, first we're going to shut the door... We're going to go to the Ripsaw and fix it, uh, but I believe we have to go back to the Ghost to get some steel plates, and I think that's all we really need to fix it, so. Alright. Military escort down there. Too bad I don't have any ammunition yet. Well, not much, anyhow. I think we could probably take on a military escort. I don't know about the military transport, but the escort I think we could do. All right, let's uh, hop on in. All right. Doo -doo -doo. All right, now back to the Ripsaw. Let's try not to fly into it this time, shall we? All right, there we go. Flew past it a little bit. Yeah, no, there's a little bit of damage on the front of the ripsaw, too. Or, er, yeah, on the front of the ripsaw, so... Yeah, we could fix that, too. All we really need are some steel plates. So, let's do that. Oh, I forgot to get rid of my silicon that I have on me. Oh, well. Alright, first let's fix these missing blocks over here. You know what? I just realized that uh, this damage might have been caused by when I ran into the uh, ripsaw with my ghost two episodes back, but I'll never know. Alright. That one's done. One more, and then we can fix the front of the ship. Or maybe I need to replace a couple more blocks. Nope, that's good. Alright. These are heavy armor blocks up here. Well, not that one, but this one is. 
So they can take a lot of damage. I'm not really worried about them going anywhere. Oh yeah, that's right. I still have that one light armor block. Eh, whoops. Alright, and that's done. That was easy enough. Make sure these are all functioning 100%. All right, and we'll fix a couple of these. I think we only have one more to fix, yeah. All right, well, there we go. Oh, I missed one. Now we're done. All right, so we got a lot accomplished this episode. I think we did some mining, got some uh, ammunition made, showed you the... Uh, ejectors working on our mining rig and we fixed up the damage we caused to the ripsaw so I think that's gonna be it for this episode have any comments or suggestions feel free to leave them in the comment section below I always read them Oops. alright thank you folks for watching I'll see you guys next time